Good morning, good afternoon. Hi, y'all. This is Misty with Our Creative Creations, the stick pony lady. Now, this is what we're doing for the week. I thought I'd jump on and show you kind of what my week's looking like. Monday morning started out with me cleaning out my machine. And you see this handy little brush I'm using? This gets into smaller places than the brushes come with your machine even. I mean, these, these reach in there and just get that lint right out. It makes it so much easier cleaning those small spaces inside your bobbin area. And I even use it up the, I can't think of the terms. I use it in the thread path too to make sure there's no lint in there. Because if you get lint in there, it causes some problems too. So, I use that and it is so perfect. Um, I will link below where I got it from. It's not a paid sponsorship. Um, although if they see it and they decide they want to sponsor me, I would not be opposed. I buy from them quite regular. Um, so I will link it below, but it's not a paid thing or anything. I paid for these out of my pocket. So I'm cleaning and I'm putting it back together after I got it all cleaned. And uh, sorry, the lights are kind of funny and it changes quite a bit. Um, this week, we have had really bad storms, if you've been watching the news. Um, Arkansas has kind of been beat up, especially yesterday. I'm filming, or I'm doing the voiceover on Thursday. Um, yesterday afternoon, Magnolia and Hot Springs and all that, Arkansas has been beat up. Um, Hot Springs had baseball size hell. So Malvern and all through there, it was bad. Uh, luckily at our house, we are okay. We did not get any. I mean, we got some rain and some wind. I don't think we even got hail. If we did, it was tiny. So here I'm changing out the presser foot and I'm cleaning it up. I'd put on the embroidery arm. Because even though I typically do most of my sewing with the treadle, I have done some with this machine recently because it's my new machine, for one. It's new. I got to play with it. Three, um, the lights in my office are kind of, the house is built in 46. There are four light, the four sockets in the whole room, and it's a huge room. And there are no overhead lights, nothing like that. So where my antique treadle is, there's the big window. And with the storms, the window hasn't been what it needs to be. And I'm old and blind and I can't put a lamp there because there's no plugs. So it's a perfect spot for the treadle. And it's me powered. So I went through and I was showing the process of getting to all the steps setting up for the embroidery. And then I'm doing the embroidery. And this was all day Monday that I went through all this. And this is a new pattern for the eye that I really like. It's from Choli Knight. I don't remember what she had it loose, listed as what it was supposed to be, but it's got star freckles. And then we, I went back to using the, the old dragon eye pattern just for... I like it. I can't get, you know, I really do like it. The problem is, is it takes 30 something minutes to stitch each eye. And that kind of drives me crazy. That kind of eats into my time. So I don't get as much done. That's one problem with it. You know, time's money. So that's kind of why I switched to other eyes, is they don't take as much time. But it's actually 30 minutes stitch time, and then you got to count in all the times you have to change the colors, which that would be white, and then red, and then the, the pupil, which is black, and then the white light eye, eye light, the side of the pupil, and then to the big chunk that goes around it. Yeah, those are all thread changes which take them so Tuesday morning I started doing all this and this is I'm, I'm getting ready to do some new ones that one's left over from a dress 
this is one. John picked this out. Uh, he's been begging me to do some of this for a while. And I've had an uptick of people asking for girly dragons. And he thought the shiny and the pink would be perfect for that. I also cut out for a unicorn of it. Then I went stitching them together. I did chicken and this is dragon. I love this fabric. It's probably be one of the last times I use this fabric because I can't find it anymore. But that's okay. It's called In the Beginning. It's all dragon themed and I thought it was wonderful. There's the three of them. And then this one. It's that black one. I'm accenting it with silver hair. and the, There's tint metallic in that hair. It's wonderful. And then Beetlejuice. Our favorite hunter. huh? So, at least he's mine. And right now the song's playing in my head. Anyways, um, I love it. It's inspired by It's Not Him. I do do the sandworm here and there. This is a floral. This fabric came was left over from a project I'm doing. I'm covering covered a bench, window bench in my kitchen with that. And then an old fabric I've had for a while. I got it on clearance somewhere. So here's the finished ones. Here's the Celtic knot. And these are all listed on the website currently. I listed them last night, Wednesday night. So they're all listed. They're one of a kind. So when they're gone, they're gone. But there's the one with the starry freckles. I love that. And there's my denim chicken. And there's that fabric from my kitchen. I love it, love it, love it. There's the dragon, Celtic dragons. Don't say his name. It's the other dragon. Y'all have a great day. Bye.